All right, welcome back to TNM Reviews. We are actually in Norman, Oklahoma today. Um, Lisiana joined me again. And what's the name of this place? Das Boot. Das Boot. Uh, it's authentic German and and it's owned by the people who run Royal Bavaria Restaurant. It's very good, but it's kind of considered more of a German sports bar. Everything on the menu is under twenty-five dollars. Yes. And it's the same really good authentic German cuisine. <laughs> so, I I paid for Lisiana's meal this time, and literally for two meals with a tip, I paid. 28 bucks from with the five dollar tip so prices are good mm -hmm. um and it's a lot of food yeah it, it fills you up i'll pop up a picture of the food um it's a small mom and pop shop which i like yeah kind of hole in the wall down by where the diner used to be yeah if you know where that is in norman good for you i don't old downtown yeah we're east main street <laughs> so the hours are family friendly yeah they are. It, it's not one of your all-night joints. It is definitely a place where they like to have a home life after 10. So They're actually only open till 10 on Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. so. And till 8 the rest of the week. Yeah, 8 or 9. I'll put up the hours for that as well. We actually walked in a little after 9. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to impede on them like that. Cause I have issues doing that with restaurants. Plus we had the dog. Yeah, the dogs were kind of yappy dogs. But they do have outdoor seating until really close to closing. Yeah, so, so. Th they weren't, they already had the table put up, but, yeah. so we made do and we ate on the back of my truck. Um, Picnic style. I had no idea what I was getting just because I went in and what I wanted, they were out of. So I told the guy to <laughs> give me his favorite, which he did. It turned out to be a sausage sandwich. Basically. Yeah, like kind of like a bratwurst, but a different kind of sausage. I think it was actually a non-crust, yeah. which is more of an herbed sausage, but what, what'd you it, it was a decent size. I got the Jaeger schnitzel, which is like a pork chop, a battered, fried, crunchy pork chop with dumplings. I had a bite. It was, it was pretty good. Yeah. I'll admit that. Yeah. And it comes with like a German mushroom gravy. Very yummy. Very tasty. So, some trivia that I didn't know that at least you gave me. Fun fact. What Jaeger. Yeah. Which... I have the Jaeger schnitzel. Schnitzel just means it's been battered and fried. Jaeger means pork. So if you want a Jaeger bomb, you're taking pork shots, I guess. Yeah, the piggy drinks. Yeah. Even the dogs like it. <laughs> yeah, she kind of shared. They're, uh, yeah. Um, so basically, if you get here in time before, or, yeah, before an OU game, mm -hmm. it's a good spot to stop. It's smaller, but if you keep walking in, they have a bar in the back that's like six or seven seats but there's a, also a couple chairs and tables near there they're like those high up two people tables yeah but when you walk in it's it's friendly it's lit up it's it's a place to go back to yeah it is one of those places where it's not a chain you're not going to find it anywhere else so definitely part of the local flavor definitely Huh? I love this place, and they are on some of the food delivery apps, and they do take out orders and pick up. Uh, many times I've done that, we do call in and take it home, have it at home. So, okay, so she's been here a couple times, and it's my first time down here, not to Norman, but to the, <laughs> this place. We'll make that clear. Go Sooners. Um, I, I would come back. Yeah, that brings some people. German food is very meat and potatoes, so you'll be probably having an easy time finding someone who likes to eat here. But if you have picky eaters, it's definitely picky eater friendly, despite the fact that it's German. And German isn't a huge cuisine in Oklahoma, but yeah. it should be because it is really yummy. It's really good, yeah. Um, the place is very clean, very inviting. The bathrooms were clean. Which is always good. Um, Help the staff. If you want, you can also sit outside. There's, they have like four tables that they normally have out, but like we said, it was closer to well, the end of the night, so yeah. they didn't have them out. Um, they are friendly, super yeah. friendly. And it's in a nice car, old downtown. It's got a lot of walking distance, you know, places to go. So yeah. if you 
can go to the park, have dinner, and then go to the shops. And the parking is just your regular downtown parking. Not too much, not... not it's, just, it's just... It's right on Main Street. Yeah. So if there isn't parking on Main Street, it's on the corner of Main and Crawford. You can always just park within the square block. There's lots of businesses. There's banks and all kinds of places that don't have normal business during the evening hours. That are empty. They're well-lit places. Yeah, you're not gonna, there's no one sketchy around here. No one's gonna mess with you or anything like that. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a good spot. If you're not one to be in a crazy part of town where all the college kids are, this is a perfect area to come check or out. Even like toward your late 20s, early 30s and up. Oh, for sure. So. If, if you like supporting, you know, local owned, local run, family owned businesses, this is definitely a spot for you. If you like just something that's different, not your average run the mill, are we doing tacos, burritos, burger, what, but definitely more home cooking. Very um, authentic, yeah. You have yeah, the games on when the games are playing. Yeah. It, it's a good spot. I would I would say it's a comeback spot. Obviously you would too. Absolutely. You've got a place, make a request. Yep. Yeah. We'll go do it like Tim likes to say, waste our money, not yours. <laughs> so and Works spread. <laughs> yeah, she wastes our money quite a bit. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. Take care.